Great Manufacturing Technologies, Chevy Camaro, wins his first of the year in postdoc, fourth of his career, beats a teammate in the final round, beats his brother in the semifinals. I want to start with an apology. You were in the car, so you didn't hear this, but you won. I reached over my computer, hit the button that says Dave Conley, and immediately said, that's Dave's 27th win. And they went, Dave didn't win, you won. So I apologize for getting that wrong on the video, even if you didn't hear it. Your dad started his company wanting to go out and do a pro stock what he's done in business, and that's been enormously successful. Does this weekend prove that you're, if not there, at least close? Uh, I think I think it proves that we're getting close. Um, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of models out there. Uh, you know, that's selling team stuff, and, and uh, we're, uh, we're, you know, getting ourselves in that direction. In, in that caliber, I, I feel. Have you had a chance to talk to Dave Conley? Do you know what happened to his car in Yes, we, uh, you know, first off, I want to say, you know, it was a bummer that, uh, that we didn't get to run side by side. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, we, we got the win. Uh, you know, you always want to do it close. You know, it, it'd be nice for one of us to win or lose by a foul. <laughs> but uh, uh, he, uh, he just said that, uh, I believe they said they, sp they sprayed a little bit. Uh, he's got a little bit of a spray. That's, that's the rumblings I heard. I'm not exactly sure. The fact that this car that's wrong, not yours? I think they only did the right lane. Yeah, what I'm hearing, I'm not uh, sure. I mean, uh, that's just the rumblings I'm hearing. But uh, nevertheless, long story short, it, 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 uh, it stuck the tire in this show. In the grand scheme of gray racing goals for the weekend, what's bigger? You winning, Jonathan making it into the countdown? Uh, well, I think you put a price tag on that. Uh, I'd probably say Jonathan making it into the countdown. Um, it's his first year, and uh, you know, it's always good to make the countdown. I mean, he's got a great car, uh, got good, good power. Uh, so uh, you know, he's got a chance to, to get himself up the ladder in the county down there. So uh, and, uh, I don't I don't like to take too much credit for myself. So I, I'd say that uh, that's a bigger deal for him to get in than it is for me to win the race. Where's it for Shane? Jason had dominated three races in a row. I don't even bring him here, obviously, to do the thing, qualifying and everything. Were you, what was your thoughts on when you guys knocked him out of the string? And obviously, you guys are kind of 18. What was your mindset going in against him today? Just what was out there? What you just doing? Um, qualifying is so much different than race day. I've learned that. If, if I've learned anything this year, I've learned that, that it's, it's a lot different to go out and qualify than it is to race on Sunday. <clears throat> um, there's not a lot of pressure when you're qualifying. And you kind of tend to take chances and do this and do that because, you know, well, if I mess up, I got to chance. You know, this is not like NASCAR racing or something where if you mess up, well, I, can, I can make it up in the next four or five miles here. Right. <laughs> if you make a mistake, you're going home. So I think that's what why it's different on Sunday. You know, so I think I think when Sunday rolls around, I think it's anybody's ball game. But uh, at least at least for the top eight or ten cars, anybody can win out there. What's this say about your engine program? I mean, I know you guys have been building this. And trying new things and different things, and I mean, you're I, doing a lot. Yeah, I'd say it's probably as strong as anybody else's. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's better than anybody else's by any means, but I, I'd say that it's as good as the top tier teams out there. I think our program's as good as theirs is. Thank you. Um, you're, always, you're always very modest, and you, and you were there when you were saying, that, you know, give credit to Jonathan, but the reality is you've been waiting a long time this season to get that first win. How important was it to get that first win going into the countdown? Oh, it's it's big. You know, uh, <clears throat> my first year of coming here to the U.S. Nationals was, um, I believe, 2008 in B. Alter. And uh, then I came back in 2009. And then I came back in 2010 uh, post-op. And I'm not sure, but I think... I don't think I've won a round of racing here, have I? You won first round last year. It was your first 
Okay, well, last year was the first round I've ever won of racing in pro stock here at the U.S. Nationals because we, we didn't have an engine program. You know, we just, we go up there, we come here and qualify 14, 15, 16, and, you know, you're going to race Jason or Greg or Alan or somebody like that in the first round. You're probably going to go home. So this year was the first year I came here to where, okay, you know, I got a chance to do something. And uh, we were very blessed and very fortunate today to win the race. Um, the car guys made uh, some really good calls on the car. Um, <clears throat> um, I could have drove better, but, uh, you know, we won the race. And, We'll concentrate on Charlotte here in a few weeks and go from there. How about the mad thrash that was going on in the pits after you had the issue with the ring gear? You guys were really working. I mean, top fuel was already up there running, and you guys were still working on the car. And even so, came back and made a cool run. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, it, uh, threw the ring gear off the flywheel, so we just uh, put a new one in there and cleaned up the shrapnel. Didn't hurt anything, luckily, or we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Is something with you are Shane, a lot of people go their whole lives without winning anything. I mean, this is the Super Bowl. One would sink in that no matter whatever you do, the rest of your racing career, you're a U.S. national champion. I guess it, uh, it's like I think I was telling Kelly or somebody here, uh, it takes me a, a few a day or two for things to kind of set in and go, well, this, this is what happened to me. So, um, I'm not really sure. I can't answer that question right now at this second because I don't know for sure it's really soaked in yet. That, that was kind of my um, question. I mean, you're talking about him making the count that it's great. I mean, you just want to use it. And I mean, and that's the biggest of the big deals. And they're talking about it, you know, your brother making the countdown, you know, for the beginning of being, you know, more important. I mean, can you? For a second, step back, look at things from the perspective of who you are, you know, who you are and who you want this. Yeah, we, that's good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I've, I've been raised my whole life to, uh, to put myself second. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I guess maybe I need to snap out of that at this moment. <laughs> I can help work you into the future if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're two weeks in the future, okay? You ready? Yes, sir. Q1 or Charlotte. Ladies and gentlemen, up next to the left lane, your U.S. Nationals champion. <laughs> How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I, I have one more thing I wanted to ask you. Yes, sir. A lot was made about the crew changes out on the West Coast and whether or not your team was doing the right thing. I spoke to your dad. He said, there's not enough continuity between cars. We need to get the communication. We need to get... Does this vindicate that decision? Because you know as well as I do, there were some eyebrows raised out there in the pits about the moves that your team was making. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people approved and some people disapproved. You know, I think it's kind of like being a, I think it's kind of like being in politics, you know? And uh, we, uh, I think, I think the qualifying times now kind of speak for themselves. I think the cars are really, really close to the same. I can tell you that they're within a gram and within one to two points of gear ratio from each other. Uh, Dave's car, Dave and myself's car is. And uh, um, I didn't want anything more than for Dave's car to go down there and make a lap, you know. Uh, like I said earlier, I sure wanted that thing to, to uh, go out there and click off another 61 like it has been doing all day long. But. Uh, you know, for whatever reason or another, it just decided to get uh, get its panties in the wad there for a little while. So, <laughs> but uh, it didn't make it. But uh, you know, there, we'll, we'll we'll have some more. Uh, hopefully, uh, I, I say we will, but hopefully, we'll have some more uh, team car finals in, in during the countdown. That'd be nice. And uh, you couldn't, you couldn't, you know. Uh, a good friend of mine told me. Don't ever think that you're going to get to win another race because it may be the last one you ever win. So you better cherish all of them. And uh, 
you know, back in 2010, my first year, I won Pomona at the end of the year, and I thought, oh, crap, that wasn't too bad. That's pretty easy. I don't know why all these guys say this is so hard. Boy, have I ever learned a lesson. <laughs> I've dug a hole and gotten way deep in the hole, and I'm just now trying to get myself crawled back out of the hole, you know, where, <laughs> where I can eat those words. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, any thoughts on your dad coming back in Charlotte? He said if testing goes well this week, that he'll be running, so it'll be a fourth car. Yeah, no, I think it'd be great. We just, uh, he, uh, it just happened to fit in with his uh, fishing schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's got a Blue Marlin tournament that weekend. So, uh, and the race is there at home. So, uh, he just asked, he says, uh, he's funny. You know, you guys all know how much money it costs to run these programs. And uh, he says, uh, hey, uh, <clears throat> you, would you mind if I race there in Charlotte, maybe? I mean, he's asking me, <laughs> no, Dad, we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you want to race in Charlotte, we'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> Matter of, I mean, you can drive that white car of mine if you want to race bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps spinning it that you guys are pushing him to do it because you guys have some stuff you want to test. Yeah, you know, you know how my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> well, since Richie was on the phone with his dad and Alexis brought her dad in, have you spoken to your dad since the wind light came on today? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that conversation, then you can go. Um, you know, I, is, uh, I'm 42 years old. I guess I'm considered a grown man now. <laughs> but it's like my dad told me, he said, you're always going to be my little kid. <laughs> and uh, it's a pretty emotional uh, emotional deal for the both of us. Uh, you know, we grew up, or I grew up working for him all my life. And uh, he's always held me to a uh, very, very high standard in life. And uh, I think it's paid off. Uh, you know, we all judge ourselves off of a drag race or off of a reaction time or off of this, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's just, uh, like I say, it's just a drag race. It's all about being a good person. And uh, my dad has uh, made me a good man. Stan, you should have to something? Yeah. It's, a, it's apparent you came to this track with, with the hope that you would have a chance to win. Okay? And, 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 it, and it appears you got more confident through the practices. At what point today did you really feel like you had a chance to hold that trophy? Um, when in, in the final round, when I rolled her off in high gear and looked up at the scoreboard <laughs> and, and, looked, and looked out the passenger window and my boy Dave wasn't there, so I looked back up at the scoreboard again to make sure his side wasn't leaking. <laughs> and I said, I said, shit, Shane, you might have won this race if you, can make it, if you can just make it from here to there without crashing or hitting a cone. And how did that make you feel inside to get that feeling? It was numb. It was numb. numb for a little bit. So, I don't know, like I say, you know, it's a... I'm not very smart. It takes things a while to say them with me. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you, Charlie. Sounds good. See you later. Hey, crew.